So I just wanted to share a few tips that I thought might be useful for anyone who's looking for fuzz tones in the Helix. So my very first tip is that to take full advantage of the HX Stomp Helix or Helix LT, there's an impedance circuit in here. But in order for you to get the benefit of that, and what that generally means with the fuzz pedal is that it will drop the impedance level down and cut off some of the highs and stuff. This is to do with your relationship between your guitar pickup and the front of the HX stomp. You need the fuzz to be at the very first in the chain. Another tip that I'll give you is that if you want your pedal to behave more like true bypass, um, you are gonna want to go in here and change auto in Z. No, you want it to be on enabled. By default, it'll be on first. So even if you had the fuzz pedal here um, bypassed, you would get the effect of having a, a low impedance pedal in front, which would, let me just try and demonstrate that. So. I mean, that was way more drastic than I even imagined it could be. So yeah, you probably, if you want to preserve your tone when you've got the, the first pedal bypassed, go into your global settings and set this to auto, uh, sorry, enabled, if that makes sense. Now, by default, some of these fuzz settings are fairly extreme. So obviously fuzz pedal is like an extreme kind of type of distortion, right? We're using square waves, I think. So my opinion is that you want to try fuzz, first of all, into things which have quite a bit of mid range because fuzzes don't tend to accentuate your mids and also into something which has already got a bit of drive on it. So this is the litigator. So it's already edge of breakup and then we add this on top. And it's not getting too spiky or anything. The other thing is that by default you'll have a high cut of 8 kilohertz on your cab anyway, but you could take that even lower depending on how much gain you're using. The other thing that I like to do in the real world is to put something with a mid hump after the fuzz like this. So here you've got a tube screamer. <laughs> And it can just add some sustain and stuff as well if we get the level kind of more. I think I just prefer the general, even if the level is going up slightly higher. And then the other thing I think is worth doing is experimenting with taking the gain way further down from the defaults. I think actually some of the lower gain fuzz tones on the Helix sound a bit more uh, like what I'd expect. And they get a bit more spitty. What I might do then is try and up the tube scream again to get more of the sustain, but keep the fuzz so that it's got that spitty, kind of fuzzy, uh, unpredictable element with the gain slightly lower. <laughs> I think the most characterful fuzz on here is the industrial fuzz. This is based on the ZVEX, uh, what's it called? Their fuzz, I don't know, I'll flash it up on the screen now. But we got all sorts of stuff going on. So the gate I like to turn up and this can kind of give you like a, a, a really cool gated fuzz. <laughs> But 
But again, just try taking this drive down. And I think... Then you get more of the octave. This oscillator thing is uh, interesting. Adds an even more unpredictable element. Uh, all these things are on the real Fuzz Factory, by the way. I think it's the Fuzz Factory, is that what it's called? Something like that. But something like those settings, I think, are the most kind of fuzzy tones. <laughs> Without that tube screamer, you get this kind of thing. Which might be better for kind of rhythm play. But yeah, try that one out. And then the, the other fuzz that I really like the sound of, I'm just going to save that because... I don't want to lose that, is the Tycho Octavia. If we take the fuzz down way low to like 1.8, you get a lot of the octave coming through. But yeah, you experiment with that. Um, people may tell you to change this auto impedance setting to be like lower and stuff. If you just leave it at auto, it will be matched to whatever that actual pedal in real life should be anyway. Um, so. <laughs> kind of my my main trick for a fuzz is to ch chuck a tube screamer after it and it basically makes everything sound better in my opinion um so yeah those are a few tips let me know if you want me to leave this in the folder the jczen fuzz that's what i'll be using in the intro i'll catch you in another video soon and uh stay safe out there cheers oh feel free to like and subscribe if you got anything out of this cheers so you have some notes for me from the annual johnny corporate review Yes, sir, I do. So what have you got for me? Well, we have had some notes from uh, two notes. We have. Yeah, it turns out the French don't really like jokes about Ian Watkins. A very fussy company. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how are you planning to patch things up? Oh, that'll be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll just make some jokes about Dinar sounded like Princess Diana and some jokes about Fiat Punto in a street in Paris. Wow, 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 wow. So do you think you'd be making jokes about Two Notes products in the future? I don't see what they could possibly be to joke about. Isn't one of their products called Captor? 